Do your hair get itchy and you don't like it to be so itchy all day because my hair just be like, ugh. You understand it? Here's the video. Welcome back to my channel. So, I know y'all yeah, yeah, see. Sorry about that, y'all. That's my mom and brother. I'm trying to make this video. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just trying to make this video. Y'all probably hear my brother, my, my, my brother. So, you probably see this uh, that I want to make this video to get to help a lot of natural hair girls, women, of having problem with having itchy scalp and how if how to get rid of it if your hair start itching and ways what products that you use and products that I use. I'm going to show you and also I'm going to give you some tips of how to do that. So, and but yeah, but. If you're new, hi, my name is Tiffany, Tiffany Renee Gaston, and this is my YouTube channel. I sometimes will make talk about hair videos, reaction videos. I did fashion and makeup videos. I haven't done it for a while. Um, I do a lot of different things that I want to show on my channel that I want to show. And so sometimes that I want to show on my channel and to grow this and inspire a lot of people and motivate them. Sometimes I might try to be feeling sad, but I'm trying not to show this on my channel. <laughs> try my best not to do it. But just subscribe and click the bell notification and thumb, thumbs up on this video. And so let's get to this. So I'm going to, I wrote some stuff down that I had in my phone, but I wrote it down on a piece of paper. And so, but I'm going to explain the first one of how I got rid of itchy scalp and also flakes and history, a lot of itchy scalp growing up my whole life and my mom still have that I still, I still get itchy scalps but I don't get it really really bad because I used to get really bad all the time but I think it's because I used to get perm a lot and I kind of like I all the time get perm when it's time for me to get my hair done or I wait about years until I get perms again because I don't now I just don't like put perm in my hair no more but I'm from some because the chemicals of perm and you have in your hair and be so itchy and stuff so that's probably why I kind of like stopped doing that and also I had weave in my hair but I didn't get it like all like every year or I just don't get it all the time because you know money you gotta save some money <laughs> but with that I'm um, back to what I'm saying is that so I'm gonna tell y'all how I kind of got rid of it is that I my mom told me about this stuff that it's like for itchy scalp and also you got burn scalp too so it's like for itchy and got Plates and stuff. This sorry, but it's a little dark. It's because it's not that really good. But this stuff is I probably some of y'all might heard about it, and some of y'all might not. And this is like this stuff is for to get rid of the scalp. And um, I know it says it's control the scalp and itchy and flakes due to a uh, dent dent dent. dent Fry, we mix it we don't put it in our hair by itself because my mom told me that it smells like strong but when I smell it, it don't really really be that really strong so this is how it looks it's in a bottle so this is how the stuff looks and you have to like shake it so we be mixing it with our own jar our own gel we make our own stuff so this is how it looks because uh, at the hair store they got it I don't know if they got the price on here I forgot how much it was, but I know it don't cost that much at the hair store. And it says, you, and you use it for it if you have itchy scalp, and it gets rid of the flakes in your hair. And I haven't had no flakes, a lot of flakes in my hair a lot. The only time I get that is when if it gets dry up or something, or I put too much gel because I used to use the gel, like the other type of gel, the clear, other clear gel is the um, that gets flakes in your hair. But now I got a different gel that I don't get flakes in my hair no more because I don't use. I don't put gel in my hair all the time so because I don't put it in like every day I put it one time and that's it, it might probably or it might not but I told y'all this about this stuff and I mix it in mix my own stuff and we be putting in a lot of different types of stuff that's for your scalp and also helps your hair to shine too the same supposed to help grow your hair too so this would kind of be too strong if you put it in by yourself in your hair so you probably have to make your own gel and jar on that that one's like for number number two for that one that says uh, make your own hair products and the mess I told you about that 
and in this too I told you about this I mix this in my help my hair it helps grow it helps grows the the roots like your roots of your hair and stuff too and this in my scalp I told you this before too this is like for the itchy scalp if you have that helps to get rid of the flakes too it has the same thing for this for a lot of people that has itchy scalp uh, and then for itchy scalp too it's like a braid if you have braids and stitches in your hair so this is kind of like that and sorry it's about I'm trying to make this video and my mom is just oh <laughs> so this is like for itchy scalp the same way and uh, it's supposed to it's supposed to say that it says that on there it um it's got vitamin vitamin E in it I haven't put that I used to like put this by itself I used to put it in my scalp let me put this down but let me show you it's this stuff I used to have a different one. It was like an orange kind, but they got different types of color kind. And this will have vitamin in it. So I mix this into this and I uh, I use Vaseline. My mom used Vaseline. I did a video about it, making it. And I will probably tell y'all, I did a video of that one time. It was, I have the, it might be up, it will be up here in the description box and you can go watch it. Or if y'all want me to do a video and making a gel like that again, because I, I soon have to make some more because it's almost out. But if y'all want me to do that, just let me know in the comments and I will do that and make a video of that. And or sit me on Instagram, message on Instagram or Twitter and let me know and I will kind of like do that. Okay, for like number three, I would say when you wash your hair, massage your scalp in your hair, do that because that will kind of do that. Because I sometimes I don't do that, but Sometimes I do that and I put water. We have this thing, it's like a um, shower you take off and you wash. I do like this, I massage it in my scalp. Sometimes I do like this and tap it a little. It's a comb, it's like a comb thing you use when you wash your hair. And I do like that in my scalp and it feels so good. We have one, but we might have to get one because my mom be using it. So for to help your hair to get all that, just do that. It's olive oil, any olive oil that you have, just massage it. That's what I do on this end. For number four is use food uh, like a uh, regular food because I know a lot of people, a lot of women, we put food in their hair and kind of put some in their scalp. Any food like I think avocado and uh, some other stuff that you can kind of help your hair too, and also helps the flakes, the damp, the itchy too. Number five, the last one is that moisturize your hair, moisturize your scalp three to four weeks because you have to do it because if you don't sometimes you have to do it every day if your hair is really itchy and stuff because sometimes I do it every day change your like your if you got a sleeping cap or something and you wear like a black sleeping cap I think you have to wash it because sometimes that that all that from grease from in your hair from that cap I think you have to wash it because that will be in your like on your hair uh, wear a different cap that you have like a sleeping cap a sleeping hair cap or something that you have moisturize your hair every three to four weeks because i do it sometimes i do it every day because it helps it really better if you do it every day because i got the twist in my hair and i have my twists in my hair so but i do it like yeah i do it like sometimes i do it every, like i said i do it every day three to four weeks and i had like i think i had a um a scalp in my in my hair like a bump scalp or something because it's because it was dry that's probably why and so that's probably why i be putting this in my scalp because it has this in here and has all the other stuff that you have just find stuff that you see that you know that will help the scalp mix that all together you can put like some like olive oil um blue magic because i think we put some blue magic in here blue magic coconut condition in it so we mix all different ones in there and it helps it really good so but it smells good it's green it's still i can smell that stuff in here it smells good on here on here how to get rid of uh, itchy scalp apple cinnamon i think i said that right it says that helps for the redness itchiness caused by dry skin and people with apple cinnamon is warm to water and using rinse after shampoo and it gets flakes and itchy scalp so you can use this it's you might see the little the top i'm talking about but the uh, name of it is called it's said that you can use some stuff like apple cinnamon 
it's the things I just want to tell y'all because I don't know a lot of if I think of something else if I do think of I might make another part of a video if I do think of something um if y'all like this video just put in the com um, the com <laughs> with thumbs up and comment below and subscribe and click the bell notification and follow me on my Instagram I post sometimes on there I don't post I post every week sometimes but and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and I'll see y'all doing in my next video. And I hope y'all like this video, and I hope y'all enjoy it. I know it's not that much interesting, but I want to help a lot of people that go through with the itchy scalp in your hair. So, but peace, y'all.